And Alec Udell, remember that early spin, he went to the back of that group. The caution helped him. He has fought his way back into third. So a tremendous comeback drive by a couple of these young drivers. I got started in racing with my grandpa bought me a go-kart when I was five years old. Uh, from there, it just kind of escalated. I won a couple national, national championships in go-karts. I moved into a spec Miata in NASA and SCCA local region racing, and then I met a team out of Dallas um, through go-karting, actually, that uh, got me started in Pirelli World Challenge when I was 15 years old. Alec Udell, uh, after that early spin, we don't know whether he had, had contact or just got away from him, fights his way back to the podium in that Amsoris Capital a Panther Pipeline car. This is my fifth season. I started when I was 15 years old, now I'm 19. I'm an old man now. <laughs> Alec Udell, what a story. Uh, that big wreck on the start of the second race at St. Pete. He got no points, never managed to go. Missed Long Beach, they couldn't get the car built. He has jumped in front of pole sitter and runaway points leader Colin Thompson right now and is having a fabulous run and a comeback. We missed him. Yeah, absolutely, we sure did. And what a corroborative effort from that. Oh, yeah. Amsource Capital, Panther Pipeline, Motorsports Development Group, M Performance. I mean, all hands on deck to get that car fixed. And they did, and he is giving in one whale of a ride. Leading GT Cup presented by Momo. I really enjoy the class. It's kind of like going back to go-kart racing for me because all the cars are the same. Uh, it really takes the balance of performance out of it. Uh, you don't have to worry about, oh, that car's going to be faster at this track than the other track. It's really about how I work with my crew at GMG, with Nev, uh, my crew chief, how I work to get the car tuned to what I need for driving fast. So I really enjoy that, and it's, it's kind of like going back to my roots. Boy, we go back to GT Cup by Momo, and this battle is superb. It's now mano a mano. Udell ready to race. It's just a whole nother level. I, I was very familiar with the Mustangs, with the Ford. I love that car. I love driving that car. But you know, this this Porsche is on a whole nother level. It's it's really you know a race, a race built, race ready car. It's paddle ship. Super stiff suspension, and I, I I just love it. Made his debut about four years ago at the <laughs> ripe age of 15. Set on the pole in the rain at Mid Ohio in the GTS category. Made the move up to the GT Cup category this season, and really got acclimated to that. Did miss around at Canadian Tire Motorsports Park, but he's in for the rest of the year. That's the best news. He's set for the remainder of the season as we watch that beautiful machine. Amsource Capital and Panther Pipeline have been two guys that have kind of followed me. They own the team that I raced with um, in the the Camaro the first year that I raced and um, they've kind of followed me they're from Houston they're uh, guys that enjoy racing and enjoy being in the sport and then GMG Racing is a uh, another big supporter of mine obviously and you know I'm very happy with the support and they feel the great car and I can't be happier with Nev is my crew chief Nev Gas and he's he's just the best in the in the sport look who's second Alec Udell you know the longer this race is run he's getting that rust knocked off he's going quicker and quicker and on that restart at some point here we didn't catch it but he was able to get around that security national mortgage angle and Volker's machine of Sloan Uri and that Panther pipeline Amsoris Capital Porsche of Alec Udell into second but look at Uri gonna try the outside into one see if he can do an over under here because that was a pretty protected move Boy, but Udell exited that corner in a perfect spot, didn't he? Yeah, he sure did. He's putting his car right where he needs to be, where Sloan Uri just can't get up underneath him on the inside of these corners to try to make that pass. I'd love to go into um, GT within the next couple years. Um, possibly next year, stay in GT Cup. Uh, we've had a bit of a development season. We had a, a few issues at St. Petersburg. Um, which was kind of unfortunate, but you know, it's part of racing. And so I've definitely learned a lot about the Porsche this year and I'm very happy to be in the car. 